All right, guys, so I'm back at Brewers picking this up. Um, hopefully everything goes well. Uh, I don't think they were able to duplicate the shifting issue, but I do have that longer shifter I'm going to try out. Uh, I don't know if they did anything with the um, gauge. That was a little messed up, but um, I don't know. We'll see. It's been two weeks. I'm dying to ride it again. Let me go get it. All right, guys, so here it is picking it up. Nothing like dropping off a clean bike and picking up a dirty one. I've never seen that, but uh, whatever. Hey guys, Echo Sucker Perry. Now that I got the bike back from the dealer, I can work on it again myself. I feel a lot better. Uh, they couldn't find anything wrong with the shifter. So I'm going to swap this shifter out with a um, hammerhead from Beta USA. This is from Beta USA. You can go online and order parts there. The um, Here's the part number and everything. And it's Sierra BMW Motorcycles, where I got it from. They got it to me quick. I also got a 14.2 uh, sprocket to replace. This is a super sprock sprocket to replace the um, 15 tooth on there. And hopefully that will help out as well. So um, with this sprocket, it comes with a couple of uh, aluminum O-rings here. These are for the four strokes. You don't need those. Some instructions on there will tell you. All you need is the clip on there with a the two-stroke and no um, washers. So I'm going to go ahead and take this guard off and just move this guard out of the way. Take this clip off and pull it out. I shouldn't have to take the chain or anything off uh, because it's a smaller sprocket. So I should be able to just pull it out enough and get everything off. All right, so we got the uh, taking the 15 off, throwing the 14 on there. I put the circle clip back on it. Just be gentle with these. You don't want to overstretch them. Make sure they go back into the right place. So pushed in all the way. All right. And then you got to make sure you tighten your chain up afterwards. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is this um, shifter. So pay attention to where it's at. All right, so let me get some pictures here for you guys so I can show you the difference of where it is uh, before and after. All right, so I'm going to go against the same spot right here just to give you guys an idea of what we're looking at. So that's where this one sticks out to. And then hooking it on the peg right here. Okay, that's where we're at. Let's get the new one on. Got to take this 8mm all the way out in order to get the shifter off. Alright, so let me give you guys an idea of the differences here. If we stack these on top of each other so the mounting point is the same. Okay, that's the difference. Okay, I'm dead flush here. Okay, so side to side. Let's do it like this. Okay, there's your difference. 
Right? And if you look this way, okay, same thing. That's how much further it's sticking out. So this should be much better. Much better. All right, to put the new one on, same thing. You got to take the bolt out. There's a little groove in the shift shaft that doesn't allow you to slide it off. So in case the uh, screw comes loose. Oh yeah, this is much further out. This can be a lot better. Let's see. Yeah, that is just a better position right there. All right, tape measure back out again. Let's get some more measurement. All right, so this is from the same point. You can see how much further forward it is already. So that's where we're at here. It's almost here, almost at uh, almost at five inches out. And then from the foot peg. All right, hooked in the same place. That's where we're at now. It's a big difference. That's it, guys. That sprocket and that shifter should help out a lot on this bike, shifting and uh, climbing and stuff like that. So, uh, guys, so if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for further notifications. Guys, until next time, this is Tepco Cycle Repair.